Landcom's vision for the master plan really required a diversity that not only provided diversity of built form, but provided diversity of the end community. And Landcom has a strong approach to creating affordable and sustainable communities, which is built on diversity. The mix of housing on the site is quite diverse. So there's dwelling houses, townhouses, apartments, and also retirement living and aged care. That's an important part of designing for a community so you can age in your community. The importance of the retirement village and the aged care together is really important for those social connections in a community. You're not providing just for one demographic, you're providing for everybody. So this is a diverse intergenerational place then. This site was one of the first that Randwick Council worked with Lancom on to introduce affordable housing as a policy and an outcome on the ground. Lancom's part of the master plan was design excellence. That was a really important element. So the guidelines were developed cooperatively with Randwick Council. Lancom developed quite a number of open house sessions and talking to people, getting the feedback and incorporating those into the guidelines. And then, most importantly, then implemented those guidelines. There was that acknowledgement that there would be a wide range of people living here, young children with playgrounds and then older people. So I think that was a really significant move to have made. So our role was in the adaptive reuse of three heritage precincts. The way we always approach adaptive reuse is that we try to understand what's significant about a building. It's very much the qualities of the spaces, what they contribute to the story of the site. And so whenever we make design decisions, it's always informed by that knowledge so that its identity isn't destroyed by the work that we do. To allow a building to have a range of occupants or families, single people, that sort of thing, it's really good to have a diversity of apartment types in a building because it actually creates a better community than if it's homogenous. And I think using lots of different architects on the site brought that diversity as well of architectural styles and approaches to design. We worked very closely with Lancom on the design and the construction of the community centre. I'm really proud of that. That was a terrific project. And the challenge was to design it well. The location to start with was a challenge. Would it be up on the, the street, the road front at Anzac Parade? And Council's preference was for it to be right in the heart of the site and enjoying those amazing views, which is a great outcome for bringing people into the site. And the other element of that then is designing it so that it's not a big box in everybody's views. So it had to be low scale and built into the site. And one of the lovely parts of that building is that it's got a green roof, which then extends that green element of the, the whole precinct. And that to me has drawn the community into the site. It still has that sense of being an open, welcoming site. And that was really something I think the whole project team wanted to embrace, that complexity and difference and diversity were actually good to create communities and reflect really the way people like to live. So yes, we're very proud to have that outcome. <laughs>